time. We're going to cover L.A. to L.A. Well, Los Angeles to Louisiana, Lafayette, Louisiana. So there's the L.A. to L.A. L.A. to L.A. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's get this party started. So we have to get out of Portland, I guess, is the most obvious thing we have to do. So we jumped on an Amtrak train, specifically the Coast Starlight, and went down this entire path. And this is my very, very first really long train ride. I did catch like a commuter train uh, before the pandemic, but this was like a real train ride with lots of luggage and just experiencing the entire thing. We slept in the chairs. It was fun. All right. Lots to talk about. So that's the first shot uh that we had from the chairs and um we tossed in the menu i don't know if it's too blurry to read but it's very basic stuff they have a cafe car um i want to back up here a second and say there are rooms like full bedrooms that have their own showers and bathrooms and there are other ones that are called roomettes that have like bunk beds that turn into chairs that have maybe a toilet and maybe a shower down the hall kind of situation, but we are way too cheap for that. <laughs> and I kind of wanted that sit in the chair, sleep kind of experience anyway, kind of real train riding. And so we decided just to, you know, sleep in the in the seats. And it was pretty good, actually. Um, you can you can kick your feet up. There's lots of leg room. Um, you can actually lean pretty far back, uh, definitely. And, and there's like a little recliner footrest um, thing that kind of flips up. So all really cool. We couldn't get any good pictures of it, but really comfortable considering. Okay. This is something important. When we think of trains, we probably only think of a one-story train, but these western trains they're all two stories and so that first story has maybe the cafe car in some cars um but you can see how long the train is how big and dynamic it is they put some gear down on the first floor the bathrooms are on the first floor lots of up and down the stairs lots of up and down the stairs but uh we're we're, we're more fit for it so there you go all right um moving right along so, <laughs> um, well, my, my friends, we stayed with my friends in LA and, 30 um, hours later, 30 hours later, we arrived in LA and, uh, we, they have a, a child and we don't really do pictures of kids on, in our, our video sequence, but we do cats, obviously, if you've seen the other videos before. And in this fact, is, the teaser is basically mostly cats. And let's just be honest with this you. is Sophie. Sophia or Sophie. I think she's Sophie. She's adorable. And apparently she was missing us after we left, but isn't she cute? Um, so yeah. <laughs> they the train ride was a great 30 hours of just pure joy in those seats. Um and then once we were done with that, we got to hang out with this cat. So totally worth it. Um the other picture, I think this is just funny. We found this somewhere. I think uh, it's a park. It was a park somewhere, or maybe one of the beaches we. Hung I think out it was at. on one of the beaches. It says a perfectionist walked into a bar. Apparently, it wasn't set high enough. Um, perfect. <laughs> now, I love food. We all love food. This was one of the most interesting pizzas. Um, it was really good, as you can see on the top. There's corn on the pizza never ever ever had roasted corn on pizza that was yum and on the bottom was kind of their version of i think it was like a hawaiian pizza was i'm i it was everything was delicious and i'm like eating stuff and i'm like what is this don't care it's good so for some context why we were so oblivious what was going on when we were in la we were staying with some awesome people that were friends of julie's and mom and um and so they kind of dragged us around happily dragged around to random places 
And this is probably even just takeout. I think this was a, yeah, this was a takeout pizza place that was near their home. And every meal literally was just like, let's bring them food or let's take them to a restaurant. Oh, no. But um, it, the, the, it was just amazing. And this pizza was just really good. So I wanted to share. So I don't know how hard it is to read, but that is Redondo Beach. And that is the Julia. And Redondo Beach is very special to me. It is the first place I had ever went to. I was 11 years old and it was the first place I'd ever been to besides Hawaii. My very first trip, my family used to live in Redondo Beach. So that was a little, a little boost of nostalgia. That was nice. All right. And here's some classic shots. More Redondo Beach. I mean, the softest sand, really. I mean, it, it, was, it was, it's just so beautiful. And they just have... November sun. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't too terrible at all. It was a nice day. Did not feel like fall after Portland, going to no, be honest. did not feel like fall. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got next. Oh, it's an ad for our book. I guess we can shamelessly do this, can't we? Because it's our we, channel. We can. It is our channel for our discretion. So this is our second book of the series. Um, the Utopians. The Utopians. And um, as you can see from the cover, there's a bit of an adventure. Yeah, there, there's a there's a hurricane at Bruin for the group of five. If you haven't read the first one, highly recommend it. I'll drop the links to the first and second one in the... Uh, more work for me to do, keep that in mind, uh, in the description. All right, back to the main program. So LA was over, which means it's time to jump on a train again. This time, we didn't do something short like 30 hours. This was 42 hours. It's called the Sunset Limited. It goes from LA all the way to... LA, I mean, Louisiana, I mean, <laughs> Lafayette specifically, <laughs> which are all kind of... La la, la la. <laughs> All right, let's zoom in for us. This is the train ride, and that's Julia enjoying the sights. Or uh, are you asleep there? I, I'm asleep, as you can see. Like I said, comfortable seats, comfortable arrangement. You don't have to. It's not like an airplane. Guys. You don't have to spend an arm and a leg for the rooms or the roomettes. And the this the second picture. This is the observation car. Observation car where we got some great shots. Um, the the roof is, is if you can't really see it, but the roof is glass, and so you can kind of see above you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, great for sunrises. You have your meals um, 42 there. Forty two hours. Or do work, play games like we did. Yeah, we did a lot of uh, editing and taking notes there. Um, for that book that we just mentioned. Anyway, I'm moving on. So when we say great pictures, we mean like this. This is what we got from the observation car. I'm not totally sure what state. I'm assuming maybe somewhere in Texas, but who knows? Good odds, Texas, um, New Mexico, Arizona. Yeah, it, but I know. mean, every our our entire country is just beautiful, and it, we got we we're very fortunate to view it this way and get a few good shots. We, we were not, uh, GPS wasn't always great, and we were just rolling past places, so it's not like the signs were there for us. So if you know where any of these places are, that would be awesome. Another beautiful shot. I'm just going to flip through some of these. That cool? Yeah, just flip through. Uh -huh -huh. <laughs> so I think the one on the left is actually later. That's when we're getting into, like, after Texas. Yep. Because that's feeling very green to me. <laughs> and the one on the right feels like right on the, when we were getting into Texas, like around El Paso or something. Um, I am guessing wild here. But eventually we hit Lafayette. Yep. And so naturally the first meal when you hit the South has to be Waffle House. Waffle House. My first time in Waffle House. And Boy, was it good. <laughs> yep, grits, standard, you know. I think we paid like 30 cents for the whole thing. It was pretty cheap. It was pretty cheap. <laughs> and, um, yeah, yum. I don't normally eat with my arms crossed, just to be clear. <laughs> and we'll just say that Lafayette was our culinary capital 
um, while while traveling through via train. This is a place called Sundays. It's in the middle of their downtown, and there's beignets and hush puppies. Yeah. Uh, Everything I, is deep fried and amazing. I mean, I get why yeah. beignets are a thing now. We we did it with honey mm -hmm. because it didn't have enough sugar <laughs> coating it to begin with. Now, for our Hawaii friends, beignets are a little kind of like the outside is like a crispy andagi, but the inside is soft like a like a malasada. That's fair. So if you yeah. can kind of picture that, that's what a beignet is. Well, it really is just food, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> this is Popeyes, isn't it? No, no, no. no. <laughs> Stop. This is a, a southern place Fat called Alberts. Fat Alberts. That's right. And they're, they're, as you can see, it's got the fried chicken, the red beans and rice, um, the mashed potatoes and gravy. That's catfish. Daniel got some catfish. And their rolls are like these... There's the sweetened honey rolls, but it's lightly sweetened. Oh, my God. They just melted in your mouth, and they were so good. So, a friend of mine, Miller, came in all the way from Texas, which was, I don't know, 100 hours away at this point. No, no. <laughs> I think it's like a four- or five-hour drive for him um, to go hang out with me and Julia, which is awesome. And this is a place called Don's, and they're known for something called Cracklins. Cracklins are sinfully good and awful for you. Um, they're they're kind of like they're crunchy, like um, pork rinds. Yeah, I think pork rinds is the closest thing most people know. But they don't tastes like pork rinds because of the fat it is still the meat it is still yeah, the, it's pork the meat, meat that's just been cooked crazy amount of cooking right so, so it's crunchy tough. yeah <laughs> somewhere between jerky and yeah okay uh so don's is also known for having exotic meats but we did not end up eating any of the more exotic alligators or possum or whatever else they, they were, have there it was actually more expensive so we just stayed with the cracklins and the boudin boudins are like the southern version of manapua yeah that's fair kind of a meat pie and as we can see yum and happiness yeah i hadn't seen him in quite a while so once we finished up lafayette we needed to get out of there but the train for the next stop didn't leave from Lafayette. So we woke up at, what, three in the morning just uh, to be nuts? Yep, yep. And caught a bus <laughs> to New Orleans. So this is New Orleans train station, Greyhound station, beautiful mur mural. And I think this is uh, where we should end the video. This is where we end. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.